Hi, Justin here. You might remember me from such films as The Melting Point Apparatus and You. Today, I will be telling you about hot gravity filtration. Let's take a moment to think about that. Hot gravity filtration. Why is it hot? It's hot because we are using a hot solvent to wash our filter paper to collect all of the dissolved solute that we desire. Gravity, well, we're using the force of gravity to push the liquid through the filter paper as opposed to something like, I don't know, a vacuum. And filtration, we are definitely separating one compound from another. In this case, acetic acid from activated carbon. Basically, charcoal that has been heated to a very high temperature and can therefore collect impurities. It will not, however, be soluble in ethanol, and therefore we can remove it through hot gravity filtration and can keep as much of our anisic acid as possible. The setup for hot gravity filtration really isn't that difficult. Now, all you need is an Erlmeyer flask, properly clamped so you don't break any glassware, your funnel, which you put into that Erlmeyer flask, and a piece of properly fluted filter paper. We flute filter paper because it increases the surface area of the paper and therefore allows the solvent to filter through much more quickly. Uh, this saves you time and is therefore something you should learn. Uh, I'll teach you how right now. Right. Take out a piece of filter paper. We'll start with a plain circle. Fold in half. And then fold it in quarters. And then fold it into and unfold it, and you should end up with a pie creased circle. Then, take any two folds 180 degrees apart and pinch them, joining the points 45 degrees above and below each crease, like so. They're not touching. Push them in such that this puckers the other way. You get one of those fun little fortune teller guys that used to make in elementary school, at least I did. Uh, take two folds and push them in the direction of another one. So see, now you have three of those folds facing up and one facing down or vice versa. All right, this is the fortune teller. You folded them up. Right? So now you're almost there. The only thing you have to do is open up that center fold, and there you go. You have fluted the filter paper. Okay, let's get back to gravity filtration. With me, I have acetic acid, and this black color you're seeing is the activated charcoal. Simply pour it into the gravity filter. It's taking a while, isn't it? Imagine how it would be without food. Notice how the color of the liquid coming out of the funnel is clear, not like the original polluted paraanisic acid that was pinkish. The colored impurity has been removed by the charcoal.
It works much like lucky or sieves do. And the activation creates pores within the charcoal that can trap the impurities physically. I'll check back with you after this is filtered through. Okay. Uh, the initial filtration is done. So the question is, where are we still losing compound? Um, there's got to be some left over here in the original flask. There's also a ton of compound on our filter paper. So what are we going to do about that? Uh, this is where the hot solvent wash comes in. Over here, I have a hot plate with a water bath on top. And clamped over that water bath is an Erlenmeyer flask full of hot ethanol. Now, generally, this should be done in the hood, but for the purposes of making this video, I put it on the table here. Now, what I'm going to do is use a pasture pipe bed, take out some hot ethanol, wash it into the flask, swirl it around, and then wash that onto the filter paper. Afterwards, I'll wash the filter paper again as I see necessary. Now for the filter paper. Squirt around the perimeter. Make sure you wash all of the solute down into the middle of the filter paper and then rinse it through. Wonderful. Okay, uh, when you're finished, unclamp your flask and go. You've just learned all you need to know about hot gravity filtration.